Well, hello everyone, it's JT. I want to thank you for tuning in. And today, for those that have the MyLead System Pro and you have Get Response for your autoresponder, I want to show you how easy it is to integrate your system with MLSP. You want to go to your account drop down and you'll see here under my profile settings the autoresponders. So you want to go ahead and click that on. And the great thing about this marketing program is whatever you don't understand, there's always videos to really show you. Oh, actually, I should go up here. Um, here is where they have the various autoresponders. Um, MLSP comes with a free autoresponder that you could use, or you can actually sign up for an AWeber account which um, most of the people use, in which case you can ask your sponsor for that link, or you can sign up for a get response account, in which case I suggest you again um, check with your sponsor for their link. I have get response, so in order for me mm -hmm. to integrate this video here, I suggest you watch all the videos, but this one really shows you how to integrate. And so here, you can toggle for your instructions based on the various um, autoresponder services. This really goes over the definitions. I suggest if you're new to network marketing, you really want to go over the definitions first. So then when you see them in the instructions, you'll know what they're talking about. Kind of backwards in, right? But that's the best way to do and then the steps are clearly outlined here. And so you want to scroll down to the Get Response Auto Responder. And there's several videos. There's three. We're going to go ahead and launch this first one. And um, we'll go through that. I have Get Response, so I'll put that up on my other screen because what you'll have to do is go over and grab the key. So we'll go ahead and just play this video for you. I think we are. Yes, here it is. And you'll notice once you've done this um, in the beginning of your setup, you noticed how you got a check. So once you've done completed this step, you'll get a check. To show that you've done it. Mm, okay, I don't know why this is not showing up. Okay, well, I'm going to close this because I'm not sure exactly what happened there and these videos. But these are where the videos, if you need a little more detail than what I go into, feel free to go into your, where did we go? We went into our, our account our autoresponder, we then opened up this portal and was able to see the various instructions. And you'll go down to get response. That passed it. Yeah, here it is. And you'll um, open up and then watch all three of these videos. And what you need to do, remember, is I'm going to go over here to my get response account, is you need to create your list. With Get Response, you notice that we have our um, client relationship management as well as you have one in My Lead System Pro. And what I did is I created the various lists so I could tell and track where my leads are really coming from, whether they're coming from Facebook postings, Snapchat postings, webinar attendees. So um, you want to go ahead and create your campaign in Get Response. Close these. Sorry, it's loading so slow. My internet connection isn't that good where I'm at right now. I hope your day is going well. So over here, this is where all your campaigns are. As you can see, I created one, Brian Finelli web, webinar. 
So those are like for the webinars. These are for my Snapchat leads. These are the preloaded letters from MLSP. These are, you know, the Instagram. So you want to, and then also, ladies and gentlemen, um, your if you have an MLM that you're working with or your primary company yourself, if you're branded, you can create your campaigns here. Um, as you can see, I have my MLM um, here. And so these are the lists that I have and capture pages. Um, well, the campaigns I have for that particular company. But you'll go in here under your auto, um, your preload, which is under messages. And what you'll be doing is you'll um, upload the preload letters from My Lead System Pro over here to your get response. And what you'll need to do is choose a campaign. So if we choose the Brian Finale webinar, let's see, let's choose my email address. And as you can see, these are the preloaded letters here. It says you're in, and then, you know, it's like, did you see the movie? These are answer all your problems in here, blah, 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 blah. So those are all of your letters, but what you'll be doing is transferring them from your uh, get response here. I'm just so sorry that this won't load. But anyways... Um, once you watch the videos, you will understand what this is down here because what you'll want to do is click on Add New Responder. You'll put in your um, responder name, and that's like your campaign name of your list. So this one, I'm not going to do it now, but I will put in JT, JT MLSP. For me, that lets me know it's the MLSP campaign. So that's how that list has a name. And um, so you put that in. And then you go ahead and use the drop down and select get response. And then you put in the name of your list, which was the, um, what, what list was this? This was the JTMLSP list. And so you put that in there and then you save it and that would add it. I'm canceling because I'm not doing that right now. And um, then what you do is these um, here is if you want to edit it. I did have a time where I wanted to try out the uh, free autoresponder um, here, the my main. So basically, I selected the GVO, which is the free one. I don't want to do that. I'm back with my get response. I prefer get response better because you have an ability to edit the um, letters. Whereas if you use the auto, you can't add, edit the letters. You have to do your own um, kind of your, like a separate email blast. And um, that's really pretty much it. Uh, let's see what else maybe you might want to know. Once you go through the videos, it'll show you. Be, um, also, in get response, you'll have to come over here into your account, and you'll go into your integration. And you'll want to copy. Let's see here. Uh, is this the right one? No, this is the right one. This is where I'm actually integrated. No, let's see. I want to get my your your key. So I think it might be under the account details. Let me just find it here. I apologize. It's been a minute since I've gone through. Yes, here it is. And over here is your API um, and authorities. These are the two that you're going to have to um, paste. You'll paste your, your code, you'll copy it, and then also you'll do your API. And you'll paste that over here in the get response and then that will allow your autoresponder to be added and when you do your campaigns you'll be tracked in your CRM and the other thing you can do in get response 
um, after you set up is you can import your lead into the CRM from GetResponse over here at GetResponse under your contacts like go to search contact it's going to bring up all your contacts and of course you'll want to just search um the ones in your area or you know the ones that you want i'm gonna close that maybe that'll make this faster well i don't know it's why it's so slow the connection is not that good here but what you'll be doing is you'll be um going in here you'll actually open your contacts here we go okay finally and of course i don't want to view all of my contacts i just want to view certain ones so what i'm going to do is here you go in and then you select what campaign it is that you want to um, select from and then what you do is you export those from here and you import them into your my lead system pro close that and that was i just went prospects and i dropped down to my uh customer relation management and my dashboard should come up any second. I appreciate your patience. But like I said, for more details, um, as you can see, I haven't really imported. I've been working so my get response. But this is where you would do it. And then um, here, uh, you could go ahead and add your um, prospects in here. And Here's where you click on add. And you can upload. And this is where um, I would actually go over and upload. Unfortunately, my leads, I started out with my list different. So I'm manually having to um, type them in. And as you can see, I have a total of 83, but I had I only have like I think 22 typed in so far. But anyways, that's how you would do it. So I hope this was helpful. And um, if you have any questions, you can always inbox me um, because here in my Lead System Pro community, we're one big family. So you can always do a shout out in the group as well. Thanks for watching, and uh, you matter. Have a great day.